first Minio. These guys are cousins, in case anyone didn't know. So, uh, definitely a rivalry here. Um, now again, Minio was playing Cheek when they played in pools. And it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't close. Um, I feel like Minio would start off pretty decently, you know, first couple stocks of each game, and then just get a little pissed off and kind of lose it. But, uh, get hit by a lot of projectiles right now. <laughs> Not happy about it. Oh, I'm sorry, I never transitioned back. A noob move by me. Moosh up here uh, got an early stock. Minio ties it right back up. Yeah, like I said, Minio playing uh, much better here. Um, during this loser's run, going his main Kirby, of course. Again, this is a remix bracket, but there are no bands. It's the only bracket we're running tonight at the weekly, so people are free, free to play whoever we want. When we run both vanilla and remix, we tend to ban top four in remix. That includes Pika, Kirby, Falcon, Yoshi, but right now we are, uh, you know, we're letting people do what they want. Mini is a villain. Let's be honest. Yeah, Minio, he's definitely a villain, you know. Part of me is uh, definitely rooting for him a little bit right now, just because Moosh is... Take that back. You don't want to see Kirby win. A remix. Look, I, I want to see competitive sets. That's what I want. Now, I don't... You, you might be right. I don't know if I want to see Kirby win this entire goddamn tournament. But I will say, Minio's the underdog here. It's hard not to be a little bit on the underdog side at times. Moosh is the undisputed number one seed at this remix tournament. Yeah, I don't. Is he the underdog with his Kirby main? Though? I believe so. I believe Goemon's. I believe Moosh's Goemon is better than any character he's ever had in this game. Oh, easily. And that includes I think remix. That includes vanilla. No, I think right now I believe it's close too. I'm just saying that. Moosh and Minio in their head-to-head -head over the years, I feel like Moosh always had the slight advantage. Like, it was close, but Moosh always had the advantage. Really? I thought it was a Minio favorite. Huh? It's been many years. I may be, uh... I mean, I'm trying to remember the last, maybe like, big tournament Moosh entered. I mean, Keystone's tough when he's TOA, right? Right. And they tend not to play each other. Yeah, that's true. But, um... Minio gets better results, so I have to believe. Yeah. Yeah. That fair. Nah, and we're talking about vanilla too, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about vanilla where Moosh typically mains DK. But um no, this is definitely uh this is oh wow, barely barely missed on that damage. Yeah, great spacing on the recovery for Moosh. Oh now but like I said earlier, Minio was playing um been playing Sheik. He was playing Sheik for most of this tournament and loser side here is oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's an F9. Dude, Moosh's Goemon is the truth. That's an F9. E pad, bro, that tether grab comes out so fast. Yes, it does. Um, it's kind of unreactable in a lot of, you know, when you're close enough to Goemon, it's, um, it's really difficult, almost impossible to react to at times. Uh, you gotta really anticipate it. Moosh likes coming up from the legend doing it, you know? Yeah. Uh, he just did it there and missed. And, um... Moosh is lucky he dodged me in bracket. I'm, I'm telling him that after bracket. Now, this projectile is just brutal. Yeah, I mean, there's probably there probably are going to be some, you know, one or two nerfs coming to Goemon. Um, you think? Is that the word on the street? Do you have insider knowledge? Well, I mean, if we're just following the trends, the only character they never nerfed that arguably deserved it was Dark Samus. They nerfed literally everybody else, right? Sure. They nerfed Bowser. They nerfed Young Link. They nerfed Sonic. Wario. They, they, they nerfed Wario. They, they did a lot of nerfing. Yeah. And, you know, this is like a very experimental game. It's, you know, they're going to make tweaks. Yeah, E-Pad, I did not enter tonight. Um, I'm trying to get my weight up as a TO. Uh, oh, that'll kill. <laughs> Let's transition so we can see the emotion on these guys' faces. Yeah, zoom in on Minio's face because everyone needs to see the pain. It's painful right now. That's right, Epad. You gotta let the kids play sometimes. You gotta let them have fun. 
Um, no, no, it's not even like that. Um, you know, I'm TO in the tournament. I want to, you know, focus on it. And I think uh, me not entering occasionally makes makes things very interesting. And uh, I like it just from like just from a TO perspective, you know. Um, and I had some other things going on, some other obligations going on. I had to step out for about 30 minutes. So uh, it's probably best I didn't enter tonight. Um, yeah, it's been a great bracket. Uh, a lot very of very fun. a lot of very competitive matches. We love it. Microwave hot dog. What a showing. That great first, showing. First lab point. Great very showing. Very impressive. Uh, well, that's not true. I mean, he came out to Keystone, uh, but uh, um, it's his first better. tournament where he's really been a true 64 head, in my opinion. Because I feel like when he came out to Keystone last year, like, he was into it, but he just wasn't, he wasn't fully, like, in the swing of things. Like, he's a 64 head, truly, now. He's been to SmashCon, you know? Yeah. It's a little bit different now. So it's a different microwave hot dogs than we would have seen, you know, last year at Keystone. I haven't played him before today, but I, I would assume that he's been grinding that Marth. Absolutely. I he think he focuses is. remix over Vanilla, right? I don't think he, he doesn't. He doesn't, give, he doesn't give a shit about Vanilla. He'll still enter, okay. and much like his cousin V, he'll you know he'll be playing Fox out here, but um, definitely a remix player. We can take a step out. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I will be right back. Blue go carry commentary, please. Oh, I can do that. Let's see. Oh my, oh my God! You got was that reverse DI on the neutral beam? That, Goemon's, oh my god, the up B attack is so frustrating. How is he, how is Moosh using Goemon's attack out of up B in neutral? It's crazy. Man, that up air is just, that hitbox is out for him. Here you go, Minio. Is he gonna be able to clean this up? Dude, Moosh is so tricky on these recoveries. Like, you can really alter the trajectory and the spacing of the cloud, and the mix-up potentials are really infinite on that recovery from going on. And I mean, tr trying to recover as Kirby against these projectiles is just a nightmare. Look, he's just running off of them. Yeah, back air. Yeah, it's rough. It's not it's good. So Especially and like a Sonic too, like he just walls you out with these projectiles. It's impossible to recover. And he can, and, and the thing with uh, Goemon's projectile, you can just hold it in and wait for a good time yeah, to throw it. Oh my time. goodness! Oh. And as Minio just said about uh, 20 seconds ago, is anybody else seeing this horse shit? <laughs> We're seeing it, man. We're seeing it. Downer? Nothing. Yeah, he's he's yeah. yeah I, I could kind of I could kind of tell there. No, I mean, it's not a best of three; it's a best of five. It is a best uh, of five. Boosh got a little uh, excited there. It's two zero. Oh. Yeah, we're fixing the stream. I had to set as losers finals. This is grand finals in case uh, anybody was wondering. Moosh on the verge of taking his second straight lab weekly. I was wondering if we were going to see um, a Falcon from Moosh. From Minio, you mean? Yeah, Minio, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, that last game was rough. If, if there was a time to switch, it was then. Yeah. Um, I feel like maybe Falcon can just like zero to death Goemon. He can, he can. I, I think, I, I like, personally I like Minio sticking Kirby. Because if he has, it, here's how I think about it. Minio could totally steal a game with Falcon. He has a decent Falcon. The only thing is, is I don't think he's throwing it together for an entire set and winning. That's fair. Um, if he's gonna, if he's gonna win, it's gonna be, Jesus it's gonna be by doing, it's gonna be by doing stuff like this. You know, I mean, he, he's kind of struggling to get the kill here right now, but Minio, uh, unfortunate, unfortunate, but that, that was a good first stock from him overall. Yeah. He just needed that edge guard on the left side. There you go. He brings it up. 
That's what I mean. He, he's he's he has a potential to win games and, and win a set, but he needs to do it with Kirby, yeah, not not missing some cancels. And look, if he just went if he went Falcon one game, okay. But he needs to win the set with Kirby. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. He had he had it there. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And that was that was textbook. So we should have done the first stock, but probably should have just helped the match, but yeah, each their own. He still played it right when he jumped off. Um, projectile again, just so brutal against Kirby. Oh, didn't want that, but Musha's getting these grabs. He, these is Minio just missing Z cancel on his dares. That's what's happening. I think it's a little bit of both. I think Musha has really good timing on like when he can get the grab out. Oh, very nice. Let's see what Minya does. Run up tilt to get killed on the <laughs> <one> <laughs> <edge>. <laughs> And uh, Minya upset. We get a face cam. That's all. Okay, good, 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 good. He needs a stock. Oh. Yeah, you stop challenging going on the ledge. Because then he just he gets command grabbed. Because yeah. Musha's so oh ducking that one, but Musha's just very good at at um oh very nice. Okay, he's learning. He's very he's very good at jumping up and just getting that command grab from the ledge. So you, you got to be careful. You got to bait it out. Oh, he's ducking now. He's like, wait, I can duck. Yep. He remembered he was Kirby. Oh, nice. Weak hits, but still very nice. That was an 84. I don't know how many times this kid can get hit with a command grab. It's, you know, it's it's tougher it's tougher than it seems because, like, whenever you see him keep falling for it, like it's like, oh, you know, that's stupid. But it's it would be stupider if it wasn't so fast. Yeah, it's a fast command grab. Um, see, a lot of like tether grabs like that are very slow, but this but but going on is fast. It's actually very hard. Like, the only reason why I, I feel like I don't fall for it is just because I've played so many friendlies with Moosh over the past few months. You know, a couple of months or whatever. Um, I, I definitely fall for it. Yeah, it, it's tough. It, it's, yeah, I was saying it before, it's kind of unreactable, you know? Good recovery up until that Nair, but he still got back. Moosh kind of messed up. Mm -hmm. S-Smash. Very nice. See... Minio has it in him to win this game. He needs to to win the set rather. He just needs to play a little bit, a little bit cleaner. And that that game was very clean. He made a big adjustment on his edge guards that really turned the tides. Before, when Moosh would just jump off the cloud and grab ledge every time, Minio has been running out there, challenging it with dares, challenging it with dares, and it, you know it was paying off. Yeah. Yeah. Epad, you're right. Goemon does have bad, uh, a, a terrible weight for, uh, for what do you call it? For Falcon standards, it, and, and that's why I'm, I'm not. I would never. I would not be surprised if Minio could take a game, maybe two, but I, I just don't see him winning a set with Falcon to win like three, four games in a row. You know, like it just that command grab distance is so ridiculous. It's like half the stage. It's good. Not gonna kill, but uh. Oh, close. Very oh, nice, very nice. See, beautiful edge guarding. He's Go learned. Yeah, Goemon is... Yeah, he, he's very tough and he's very intimidating when he... he he's very, uh, like, it's hard to deal with when he's off stage, but if you just keep a calm head, like, yeah. especially with Kirby, you can just get those kills, just float down or... Yeah, I think a big problem for people new to playing Goemon is they jump off, they get hit with either, like, the cloud attack or, like, a dare and die, and then they just relinquish the stage for, like, the rest of the set. Right, they're scared. Yeah. Yeah. But Mio persevered, found a way. Yeah, and, and, and this is very... Oh, man. Yeah, he used... <laughs> not happy about that one. But, uh, and I understand why. He used all his jumps before that, and he, and he got hit at, like, you know, 50, 60%, and just didn't have any jumps. Good job running away on that. Man, such close spacing. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. And he knew that Goemon would have that little jump off the cloud that he has. And he just poked his head. 
just threw out that dare. And it was he was coming. Nice. Dash attack. Probably wanted something else. Probably want to run off aerial of some sort. Still uh, a lot of damage on curbs. Want it up till it gets one anyways. Oh, very nice. Wanted a little bit more, but still I still like that. Yeah, see, that's what happens sometimes. That's I, I was telling Cole, I was telling Microwave Hot Dogs before his last set against, or maybe after his set against Moosh, I was saying, you know, sometimes you just back off the ledge, let Moosh throw out his his command grabs, and sometimes you hope that he messes up. Because sometimes he does, and then he, if you miss the ledge, you SD. He's gonna die there, but hopefully Minio, can, you know, calm, calms <laughs> nope, himself. Nope. He's oh, hopefully he calms himself a little bit here because he's playing well. And Moosh does it again. Grab. Yeah, unfortunate for Moosh. And that's what I mean. Sometimes he just gets a little carried away with it. Just is a little imp little off on uh, his spacing or his precision on that up B and he, or, or that command grab. And I guess it would be neutral B, right? The side B? I forgot the remix here because I have side Bs. Oh, not true, but uh, still very good. He landed. Nice job. Oh, I can't believe that hit. Nice. That's a great recovery. Nice. The max. Yep. Starting to respect the uh, command grab a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. And he's still getting hit by it sometimes, but he's he's dealing with it. He's before, remembering. Be before he wasn't. <laughs> Before he wasn't dealing with it, now he's dealing with it, and he's mostly doing a good job. I mean, you're gonna get hit, around these and uh, you're gonna get hit by some, right? So, all right, so 98% uh, definitely not out of it, um, but it's gonna be tough. Kirby's really careful. Kirby's one of the harder characters to make a comeback against. He's gotta stop getting hit by these projectiles. Very nice. Game five. Game five. <laughs> You know, we, we got some boos, we got some let's goes, you know, we, we're, we're conflicted here because, you know, Minio's, Minio's very polarizing, uh, very polarizing player for sure. Um, but, I, you know, I'm rooting for him. We, we want to see the reset. We want to see the, these competitive matches. Uh, Minio looking for a reverse 3-0 after a uh, horrible game too. Great yeah, job keep, keeping, his, keeping his head in the game here. We, we love to see it and messing up there, but... Still mostly doing a good job here. But he's gonna pay for dropping some of this. Oh, maybe not. I like that. Max range command grab. Yeah. I'm just thinking about dropping down there and doing something, but. Man, many are really weaving around these projectiles. But getting it's hit. not easy to do. Getting hit by some command grabs yeah. here. That'll do it. There's only so much you can do. Yeah, it's tough. Like, what do you even do? Like, if you're on ledge as Kirby, and you try to even jump or roll, like, he just throws that out and kind of get hit. I mean, you, like, you try to jump, right? It's all timing on the jump. Backwards, maybe. It's all timing on the jump. But it's, it, it's, it's tough regardless. I mean... F smash. Oh, a little late on uh, that Z cancel. Um, and he gets back. He seems scared to go out and challenge Kirby off stage. I feel like he should have like run off dared or. Well, because you know these these safe. past two games he's been getting hit. He's been getting punished harder. Yeah. When he gets put into a you know a not ideal situation, he's just been I Minir's mean, just been killing him uh, more efficiently. And having a hard time cleaning up this stock, though, Minio. Um, yeah, Moosh is also just playing a lot safer. Uh, which, you know, patient Kirby's not fast. So it, as soon as Kirby goes on the offensive, he becomes vulnerable. Nice recovery. 
And you're getting a little frustrated here, having a hard time. Yeah. It gets back, though. And yeah, Moosh, you're right. Moosh really not running out here, but again, playing safe, able to get the kill. Yes, he knows he doesn't uh, need to. Now, he needs to That's stay. Minio needs to stay in this one, and uh, uh, yeah. Preemptive command grab there. Oh. It was it was honestly a good read from Minio. It just both of them just like flubbing. Uh, and that was not the right move, but that was that was that was the correct move. I guess I'm in an up tilt chain. I'm sure it's always the right move. <laughs> Didn't like that grab. I mean, I wouldn't like it either. That was tough. I can feel Minio pounding his feet through the floor. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, who's talking shit? Raz. Uh. <laughs> Who else? Who else? Um... Looking good here, though. Oh, hold ledge. Oh, or that, you know. Yeah, he just dares. And within range here, oh, uh, no. he lost two stocks in a row, takes two stocks in a row. He needs... Oh, my goodness. He needs to get something here, though, even if it's not a kill. Up tilt, up tilt, F smash. Very yeah, nice. He, he got up tilt. No, no, up tilt. I, no, I like no. that. I like that. Oh! See, this is why. Got ledge, or just do that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, and he takes the lead. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> How is video talking shit? <laughs> yeah, it, it's a war. He even when he's playing this head, he ha he has to be the loudest person in the room. Um true. Yeah. But uh Oh, looking for up tilts, yeah. but Moose just weaving in and out. Oh, very nice. But great, great uh, tech away. It's also good, great tech chase for the F smash, just not. It just, not, yeah, it just not it quite. Was, it was quick. It was the right. It was I the mean, right Moose idea. just had a good counter to it, but. Um, oh, Minio finally learning how to edge guard this Goemon. Maybe not. I spoke too soon. Commentator's curse. No, that was tough. That was tough, but he needed to make a better decision there. A little bit quicker decision. Oh, I can't believe that didn't hit. Jump. I can't believe that didn't hit. Minio had to have jumped the, f the first frame he was like, yeah, absolutely. out of hit stun. Close to it, at least. Back air, slightly out of range. It wouldn't have killed, but it would have been good for me. And back throw, not the strongest back... Not the highest knockback back throw in, in, in the game. Now, his F throw is very high knockback. Wispy's going to fuck him up here, but... Oh, nice. He has no jump. Oh. oh wow. And that'll do wow. it. And the Re grand final reset. reset. The bracket now, reset. Now he's talking shit. <laughs> no, we can't let this happen. The bracket. <laughs> Has Minio ever won a, a lab event? Probably. Brian says, dude needs to relax. He's also playing as Kirby. Yeah, I mean, these are true things, but we're talking about we're talking about Minio here, yeah, all right? Yeah. Relaxing is not an option. It's not really in his uh, repertoire. You know, it, it's funny. It, it hurts him and it serves him, you know, his inability to relax. But uh, here we are. Let me fix the stream here. We are in the grand finals reset after a reverse 3-0 from Minio. Very impressive. You know, again, villain status, right? Yeah, 100%. But we love to see the character development here. Minio, yeah, when he true. goes down early, he's usually he's usually clocked out <laughs> yeah. for sure, right? Historically speaking. But he's looking good here, able to get the reverse 3-0 in a really tight game five. A game five where he started off down yeah. two stocks. It's showing a lot of mental fortitude. He dominated that second half of the game. I think he won by two stocks, right? Uh, yeah. Not a great command grab. And Moosh, uh, kind of grasping for straws here, it seems like. No jump. Oh, good jump off. A good recovery, and that'll do oh. it. Minio looking, Minio looking say. focused here. Yeah, what, what, what do you think Moosh needs to change up? Um, I think that in, in, in the first 
three games or so, even even if he lost game three, uh, Moosh was just very... He was just picking his spots well. He's very patient, you know? He's playing, he's playing with a little bit more anxiety, a little bit more nervousness because he's down and he's at risk of losing this. And Minio's taking advantage of it. Oh, nice F. Nice, nice F there. I feel like Moosh needs to call out Minio jumping off stage a little more with that attack. Yeah. Yeah, he's not edge guarding him. And, and, and we saw in the first two games, how many kills did Moosh get with edge guards where he just where he just hit him with a strong projectile, right? A lot. He's not getting any of them right now. Is that and, and if Minio he is, adapting? Because he kind of is changing up his jump pattern. Yeah, he's but, out, he absolutely is. And but, he's not getting hit by these command grabs. And he gets him in a tough... I, I think Moosh has lost like three stocks this game from missed command Oh my grabs. goodness. This is a clinic. Oh, the, the double weak up <laughs> tilt. Yeah, I mean, that was optimal. I don't know how, yeah. how on purpose it was, but uh, it was... I'll give it to him. Yeah, it was sweet. Yeah, it was a good option. And and see see what I'm talking about. Moosh is just very aggressive right now. He, mm -hmm. the pressure is on, and it, it's hard. You know, it's hard not to be a little aggressive when you're when you're down. Yeah. Even though you, even though like it's it's correct to you know try to reel yourself back and pick your spots a little bit better. It just it, it's hard to break yourself out of that mental loop where you have to feel like you need to be on the on the on the uh, on the offensive. I think Moosh needs to try to find some more grabs or some way of getting Kirby off stage. He was certainly getting a lot more grabs. I mean, when they're playing at a bit more of like a ranged type of neutral, right? Like Moosh is doing fairly well. Even these last couple games, that's where he's finding his most of his most of his success. When they're kind of, when they're kind of when they're kind of boxing, Kirby's winning. Yeah. And it's not a surprise. Look at Kirby's moves, right? You that can't. might kill. Not quite. Going on a little bit away. He's a, he a big boy. He's pretty big. He's like he's like he's like high mid as far as weight goes, I believe. Just off, okay. of, I don't know that for a fact. That's off the feel yeah, yeah, yeah. of playing these characters. But um, 160 neutral are not not heavy enough. Ew. Nice up tilt. Quick up tilt. Um. Minio going for his fourth straight dub here. See, that's the stuff we need to see from Moosh. Like the runoff fair and a grab, and then throw out the projectiles, get him in another bad spot, get the command grab, follow it up, get up right now, go off stage, pressure him, don't let him get back to the ledge. Yeah, E-pad, um, Moosh, I mean, Moosh has a Pika, but he hasn't really, oh wow, one of six, that kills. Minio doesn't like that. Um, but, I mean, Moosh does have a Pika, but at this point, even with how the last few games have gone, Goemon is far and away his best character. It's not even close. So I, I, I don't think the, the Pika would be a, a, a good a good option. And also, he's just like a Goemon player. He wants to play Goemon. Absolutely. Even if he, he wants to win with them. Yeah, but even just like them. optimal strategy, I still think Goemon's the way to go. I agree. Uh, Freein, um, yeah, we were trying the weekly thing with this a little while, and... It, technically, this is a bi a bi weekly for us, but I mean, it's really a text it's, everyone who normally comes, and if enough people show interest, we'll yeah, get together. yeah. Like last week was an off week, but if you and I wasn't here, but a few people did come out still, and, and we ran a decent weekly. So last time we killed at 106, 103, not going to do it. Um, you know, getting a little animated, feeling the pressure a little bit after being up big in this yeah, game. Moosh making some adjustments for sure. Moosh hitting some of his first edge guard uh, projectiles in a couple games, and too high percent, not able to follow up. Oh, the weak. Oh. I'll clean it up. Fat bear. Yeah. His bear is strong. By far as strong as Ariel. Just getting nothing yeah. but weak Ariels. Yeah, what he needs. I mean, if he gets one of those and launches them off stage, that'll be nice. But... Oh my goodness. So okay. Oh, uh, he's too far. He can still Hold. Uh, Hold. Oh my goodness. Nair to the face. Okay, so Minio was... You out of here? See you, Lyle. Drive safe. So we saw Moosh start to adapt 
as that game went on, and I'm really curious to see how this game goes. I think we're going to... Oh, well, now Moosh is picking different stage. Get Kirby. Listen, how I mean, many countless games has Mino played on Dreamland? Get him somewhere he's not comfortable with. Moosh yeah, has played on these other stages way more than Mino. I... I was going to say, I think Moose should bring him to Planet Clancer or something. Something where it's going to it's gonna piss him off, you know? <laughs> yeah, 100%. By the way, he just uh, said bye to us. Shout out to Mista Beast. He's returned to the East Coast. He's returned to the PA New Jersey area. Shout out to Mista Beast. Shout uh, out to Mista Beast. He was in a cave in Utah with only a CR <laughs> CRT and a copy of Smash. Nothing but a CRT, an N64, and the shirt on his back. But um, we're going right into game two. And like I said, Planet Clancer, I mean, I'm not surprised. Musha probably knows these stages a little bit better than Minio does. Minio's played on it before, but um, I, I would guess that he's not a fan of them. Oh, almost getting that shield break. I not. I don't know. These platforms that hang over the side are just, like, so juicy for Kirby to just, like, plat drop there. Off for sure. But same thing with... Uh, going on I just mean like more from like an unfamiliarity standpoint I think it I think it really benefits Moosh like I've seen him pick this stage against other people I like this stage it looks cool I don't and, know if I've ever played it and Minio if, if, if Minio had his choice he'd probably go Dreamline every game mm -hmm. you know so this is probably the jankiest stage that is that we have legal here so it's a, it's a good pick from Moosh um I'm liking these like max distance uh, command grabs, even though they're not hitting. It, he's safe very hard, for, but he's not safe after that. What game is this from? No idea. Um, is it Earthbound music? It kind of feels. It, it sounds like Earthbound music. It could be Earthbound. It could be. Uh, what's that game where they're on like a little island and they're animals that talk? Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing. It's it feels, not Animal Crossing. It, feels, it has an Animal Crossing vibe. I, I can see that. Give it to me. That's nice. And uh, Minio unhappy on the last stock. That 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 F throw killed at 86. And honestly, I'd be unhappy too. There's totally different play this game. But if any character is going to be able to pull off a comeback like this, it, it's someone like Kirby. She'll break. Kirby has a crazy voice. <laughs> Minio being a lot more careful. Trying to pressure going on on the platforms. Nice. Very nice. Textbook. Like you said, he took the whole stock and had... 10% done to him. And that was great because he kind of like used the fair to put Moosh in a worse situation below the stage and then went for the dare. See, that's a tough thing. These projectiles are are huskier than you think. And so when you shield them, sometimes it just allows Goemon to get a to get a grab from the shield stun. He's got like a quick dash too. No, we were talking about this recently. Goemon has like such a quick first step out of dash. I, like I feel like the, his normal like that like running dash is kind of it's kind of normal, but his initial step is like so it's so quick. Explosive. And we, the the reason me, me and Moose were talking about it was because we were talking about how fast Goemon moves out of out of crouch, like crouch into get up like stand up dash is so quick. It might as be like it's so quick that it, it, he might as well not even be crouching. But uh, enough talking about bullshit. Um, <laughs> Moosh looking really good right now. Very good. You were right on the, the mixing Minio up with the stages. It's definitely having an effect on Yeah, it's clearly not something that Minio likes. That probably probably something that most people don't like. I think he's thinking, hey, I'm used to one tree in the background. There's like 45 in this one. There's, There's a lot. Too, too many trees. There's a lot. And, and not just a lot of trees, different diversity. You got some evergreens, you got some spruce, you got some oak. Oh, that was good. <laughs> okay, yeah, I good. like that. Oh. Oh, nice. Can good convert idea. Here, it's a game. Oh, oh it's a game. Wow, it's, oh, a it's a game. game. Oh, it's a game. <laughs> and that was a really great decision. After he knew that he had zero jumps left, and after two up tilts, he 
He went for the F smash, got him off stage, kind of below the ledge a little bit. Oh, that dare barely. Oh, he's got the he's got the flat, he's got the flat below him. Yeah, he saw it. He saw it. He's gonna use it. Good job, game. Oh, 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 the oh, classic. Oh, the, the classic. classic. The classic Roll for sure. To... The classic for sure. Oh my God, oh. is he gonna do it? Oh, oh my goodness. My the 3-1 oh, comeback. Yeah, that's a tough that's a tough one to swallow. Uh, look at the cocky smirk from me. Oh yeah, had one now he doesn't. But. That's a tough one to swallow. Yeah. And let's it's remind ourselves, this has been quite the loser's run for Minio. And Minio had to he was wondering what the game count was. He had to make sure. Um, I should have just went PK against him. Not allow this to happen. I'm fixing some of these results on Smash GG. Uh, they was going to put it incorrectly. Uh, I like I like some wall jank. We don't get enough of it. No more. I miss going to the lower part of Sector Z when I was a casual and throwing people against the wall and comboing. Them. Yeah, classic. Yeah. Love it. Um. Yeah, I was just fixing Smash GG for a second. So, um, yeah, Moosh back against the wall. And we, I mean, we were just saying, you were just, it feels like just five minutes ago, we were talking about Minio's back to the wall, right? Mm -hmm. Down 2 0, making that reverse 3 0 comeback in the first set. And, um, again, I like the, I love the Planet Clancer pick from, from Moosh, but unfortunately, just fucking up that last game. <laughs> yeah. But uh, like, I, I feel like he didn't. Yeah, I feel like he didn't even fuck up. Minio just super clutch, uh, second to last stock there. Just made a lot of good decisions. Hey, listen, if Minio can do the reverse, the reverse three up, so can Moosh. For sure, for sure, and he's looking great so far this game. He's he seems like he's playing with more of a strategy. I feel like he's been ever since he went up 2-0 in that first set. I feel like he's kind of just been freestyling, you know. Yeah. But. Between the stage pick and and just his uh, approach to this game, he's coming in here with a legit strategy. And he's playing much safer. Remember how how, how aggressive he was looking for a few of those games? Yeah. Definitely pick, picking his spots more. Picking his spots zoning for sure. Zoning with bears, zoning with um, the coin. And just playing a little hard to get, you know, like he's... Minio gets him that time, but uh, for most of this game, he's been hard to hit. Doimon's oily when it comes to his recovery, you know? He's I agree. He can change up so much. Oh, I like what he was going for. He, he flat drop, but Moosh kind of got out of it too quickly. Oh. Jab. Jab to grab. Not able to get another one. Back air. Nice recovery. The dash attack. Yeah, he, he fell off. Uh, See, <laughs> <laughs> oh my, dude! So many of these stocks depend on whether or not Moosh one hits command grab or two hits his projectiles when the video's recovered. I'm liking Go the downers too. Goemon's up tilt is deceptively fast, by the way. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, more of that. More dares off stage. That's rough, and Go you know, out there. sometimes you gotta go. Oh wow. And 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 I, <laughs> I understand why he did that. We love it. And I understand why he did that. Um, he just wanted to move on. I mean, that game was probably a lost cause. Um, he just wants to go back to Dreamland. He's sick of the... He stole He stole a game off of Planet Clancer, and he's sick of it. So he wants to go back to Dreamland. Um, I thought in the rules you couldn't go back to the last stage you won on. Um, that... I don't know if we have that as a uh, as a rule for the for for, for us here, but um, that is a common rule. I know that that's what Moose said to uh, Minio in Game Five against Microwave Hot Dog. Because Minio because Minio wanted to go to Dreamland again for Game Five, but Moose made him go Goomba Road. Well, maybe Moose is just allowing it then. Maybe, maybe he doesn't care. Perhaps he's a little more concerned about some of the other stages, like maybe Smashville or or uh, 
I mean, Goomba Road is pretty good for Kirby. The yeah, platforms are higher. For sure. I mean, you have two probably the same height as the top plot of Dreamland. And if Moosh wins this, you know, I believe he Minio brings it back here just because yeah. it's, you know, it's Dreamland. But uh, Moosh, again, approaching this approaching this game four with a, with a smart strategy. He just playing a lot like he did in that in the beginning of that first set. He's just grabbing him out of the air. Just figured out something where figured out yeah, his the timing break. jumping off stage. No shield break. Gets him off stage with an air. Weak. Nice. Surprised Moosh dropped below stage far like that. Noah B gets the up air out instead. And uh, nice cleanup. But it, I feel like Mio a lot of times is getting hit. Good cleanup by the push. Like again, just added invincibility. Like you can't be you can't be dying to going by invincibility. He That's like what her micro microwave hot dogs. Yeah. He was just getting uh messed up a lot, you know. I respect the invincibility. And sometimes it's even less than like, you know, like not respect it just like it's hard to sometimes it's hard to know what to do yeah. against true. players that are that are real strong coming off the that angel that angel cloud. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh man. As the games get more heated, the yep. more heated Minio gets. Not love Minio it. has this the lab feeling like uh earthquake. Stomping his feet. We can feel it in the back room. I like the roll. The mats, the mats. The mats. Exclamation point, all caps. Oh. Tough recovery. Cloud up airs is brutal. One twenty six. Uh, you hate when Goemon lives like this. Yeah. You hate it when you're playing against him. That is. But um, I mean anything, just about anything now will do it. Oh wow. He barely nicks the top of his head. Yeah, I'd be, I'd, 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 I'd be upset rage. too. I'd be upset too. But um. It's stuck. We've seen crazier things. I mean, Minio came back big time, big time in that in that in that game two earlier this set. So, if he can steal a stock here or just get within range, he's not in, he's not in terrible shape. He would need to take a But this is gonna be tough. Moose is just so yeah. It's just free. I, just, I guess he could probably sweet spot with an up B and get under it. That's Kirby. The, the up, the, the, the projectile kind of reaches, though, I feel like. I haven't tried with like, Kirby specifically. Yeah, and I don't know for sure. I haven't gone into hitbox mode, but, but yeah, I feel it like it reaches. Under, it reaches <laughs> under the ledge. Yeah. Push off. A couple whiffs. Yeah. Can't believe one of them didn't hit each other. And it's starting to feel like Minio is ready to move on to game five. Um, I wonder if he goes back to Dreamland. I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's that, that was tasteful. Uh, yeah, interesting SD at least. That was tasteful. I've never seen a SD to end the game by going up off the top. No, that was that was that was good. That was good. Well, folks, game five. And here they are. Look, Set ta ta two. Take a look at your grand finals. Yeah, take a look at your grand finals competitors here. We're going into game five. Family versus family. That's right. On the Thanksgiving Eve. This is what the holiday season is about: fighting with your family members. That's right. It's time to get hype. We're talking game five. And Minio with a strong start here. Sixty-two percent has him off the stage. Good recovery. Oh, Moosh just gets these grabs Always. off of the shield you pressure. Can't, you can't down air shield. Unless Minio's missing his cancel. Can't tell. Good trade for Minio. Oh, nice. He hits him out of, nares him out of up B. That was a risky roll into the stage, but. Not in bad shape. Oh, no down air? Yeah, I think that was a float. Nice. Fat back air. Good job. Good job. 
That was a good job. He, he canceled the pop up. He didn't go down there too soon and yeah. get grabbed by that command grab. And he. Yeah. F -sm oh, oh, he had something there, yeah, but he. He had that, so. He's got to go high here and get around this projectile. Oh, that's nice recovery. Oh, slug. Yeah, not good. Unfortunately, it's still it it's still just so hard. No matter how you get up against. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, nice. Well, that was good. Something out the nair. That was good. The, uh, the weak projectile. I don't know if it'll work against a strong one. Oh. Dude, Moosh is so good at grabbing the aerial. Like it's so annoying. I feel Minio's pain because like 64. If you attack someone's shield, you shouldn't get punished for it. The, the, the multi hits are a different game though, because they're weaker. You know, wh whether you're doing. That's why, like with Pikachu, like a, a big a big part of the meta with Pikachu is getting good at doing the the F air on someone's shield into jab grab on shield, mm -hmm. because F air into just regular grab immediately after it just there's not enough shield stun. That's how it is with these multi hit moves. No jump here for 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 Moosh. Oh, escaping! I had a mini heart attack watching that. Nice job by Moosh. Fast fall. Minio not able to clean this up. Yeah. He's getting a little frustrated. Oh. Rolling into grabs. He wants to roll behind him there. He, he yeah. just kind of landed in front of him. I mean, Minio has to leave here. And you know, he's maintaining composure, trying to take that top plat. Moosh kind of preventing him. Protecting it with fair and projectiles. Minio's Waiting talking every time he gets hit. He's talking. He's not, he's not happy right now, but yeah. he's playing well this game, though. Really needs to clean this up. I mean, both of them, right? I mean, yeah. He's living. Oh, he won it back here. Oh, wow. Yeah, so back air strong. Back air is yeah, very back strong. strong. But it's it close. Nice. Man, that command grab was risky. Yeah. And, and Moosh goes I for it. He, he, he goes for it a lot. And yeah, sometimes he gets a kill off of it. Oh! Oh! Very clutch. And it wasn't true, but it was just... Yeah, just rather jump. Nice down air chase. Aggressive, but over oh, man. It's tough. Maybe I had the right idea of what he's getting upset. Oh, man. So tight. Oh! Oh, no! Uh -oh. Oh wow, he recovers. Minio needs to close the gap here. When you give Goemon this room to just throw projectiles, it's, it's not going to turn out. Nice. He ha Minio has to clean it up here. Oh, no, that's not what he wanted. I mean, at least he got him to 112. It's you know it's a lot of damage, but it's oh yikes. Oh my. Nice. Good recovery. Oh, very nice snare. All right. We got ourselves a game. And you need some extra credit here if you're Minio. <laughs> I mean, he says that it's this a back air and not an up air, but Samus's back air is like that, you know? Has a little bit of reach. And Moosh looking. He's, see, he's yeah. seeing red. He's seeing blood here. Oh, down air. Moving the cameras here. Oh, man. Nice. Oh, no. Congrats to Moosh. Wow. Hard fought. Two sets. Double game five. Super hard fought. Oh also, my god. Shout outs to Minio. What an adaptation. Set one and set two. Well folks. Magic at the I'm like, once again. Yeah, I'm like in shock right now. What a great tournament. Um Who has better weeklies than us? Nobody. I mean, almost nobody hosts weeklies these days. <laughs> by I think default. we I think we win by default, yeah. Um yeah, for real. Shout out to Minio with the insane losers run. Taking out quite a few people in the process. If we go here and look at the bracket, um, I mean, he lost. He, he 
he beat you, Blue Go, and then he lost well, let's, to let's not he lost off. to Microwave yeah, Hot Dogs. Yeah. But all right, come on, I'm I'm, I'm no, sorry. I'm I, I had to paint the whole picture here, all right? No, no, he's but a... he beat Peter in a in a tight two one. He beat Raz in a three one. He beat Microwave Hot Dogs in a super tight. Possible. I mean, I want to say set of the night with Microwave Microwave Hot Dogs, but one of these yeah, grand, this, final this, this grand final sets. Grand finals. Yeah, this. yeah. So the last three sets we watched tonight were all game fives. Yeah. Including back to back reverse 3 0s. Congrats to Moosh taking his second weekly uh, remix weekly in a row. It's going on, the truth. But Minio's certainly giving him a run for his money. Very entertaining stuff. And, uh, you know, thanks to everyone who showed up today to play some Smash. We wouldn't have witnessed this uh, beautiful game. Yeah, if uh, didn't show up and play. wonderful weekly. Um, we had a lot of people today. And uh, shout out to. Kyle DeFrank for a TO and selflessly withdrawing from the tournament so that he could TO and put on a great tournament for all. You know, sometimes sometimes it's about the greater good. All right. KD3 always has been and always will be a man of the people. Hold on, we should get Minio, do you want to vent on stream about going on? This quick. Oh, uh, absolutely. All right, here, here we go. <laughs> All right, all right, Minio. Dude. So it, it was hard fought. We're talking two back to back reverse three O's. Reverse three O's. Tell yeah. us how you really feel, though. I think Goemon needs to get fucking nerfed a little bit. I think he's got too many overpowered moves without enough weaknesses. He has the fact that he can act out of his up B is ridiculous. The chain grab is unfair. All of his aerial moves are disjointed. Name one move that the character has that isn't that great aside from like up smash. Like, see, the, the character's got the neutral B that he can like move back and forth with it it's like it's a free edge guard and he can like, charge it forever absolutely it's it's a like it's it's ridiculous that you can just sit there and hold the move it's it, like look if if i felt as though the character wasn't unfairly unbalanced like granted i'm going fucking kirby because i want to see my best fucking character against moose's fucking character and i'm sick and tired of fucking losing with it was a good smash sheik. we appreciate it sick of losing with my fucking chic and honestly so i'm thinking to myself okay are there characters that beat goemon because as he stands right now, and I do, I really do think that the character needs to be nerfed a bit. I think Sonic and and uh, and Goemon need to be nerfed a little bit. I, I think the, the Frey, Frey, are you listening? The, the being able to act out of an up B is a mechanic that no other character really has in the game. That Except I Sonic. Think, I think Except is, Sonic. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Sonic. So, Sonic was nerfed, by the way. Yeah, I know he was. I still, I don't think enough. I, I, I the, the the being able to act out of up B is. That's such an overpowered move that, like, no other character has that, like, when there's a move that a character has in a game, like Yoshi with super armor, he's nerfed because he doesn't have an up B, right? And there's, like, other characters that are like that, too. But for how good their recovery is, like, did you see how low I saw Goemon it. was able to recover from I saw below it. the stage when I was daring him at, like, above 50%? Like, that's a death on every other character in the game except for Pikachu. So, and then he can act out of it. So I just I just think it's a little unfairly. And that's what I wanted to know. Like, I, I get my ass kicked with him when I play Sheik. So I wanted to see, okay, if I actually go my best character, how does Goemon going to match up against it? And, like, I'm better than Moosh's cast for all of his regular Smash characters. But in Remix, he like his best character literally for the whole entire cast, OG characters involved, is Gomon. And and this this character was and made, I made I wanna, for Moosh. I want yes, and I want to see Moosh do this with the character that is not unfairly fucking balanced. And like the cheese that the character has that the like cheese. It, it's too much cheese. Gomon has too much fucking cheese. The cheese. It's like a, it's four cheeses. Yeah, and I think, like, I don't know, man, he kind of reminds me of, like, Peach a little bit, where he can kind of, like, hover like that and shit and then fucking act it's out tough. of it. It reminds me of, like, Peach from fucking Melee or whatever. But, again, like, Peach is fucking a balanced character in fucking uh, Smash uh, Melee or whatever. But, I don't know, man, it's, uh, it's fucking frustrating. It's also, you know, it could just be... I was learning the matchup. Like after it's I, inexperience. Yeah, I was just going to say, after I played the first two games, I was like, all right, playing on the ground versus fucking Gomon, you're just going to get fucking chain grabbed. You're just going to get hit with the fucking projectile nonstop. So it's kind of like playing a... It's kind of like playing a fucking Link slash fucking uh, um, uh, Fox that has, like, better aerial attacks and a sick recovery. And he's, like, small, so he's tough to hit, too. He is tough to hit. And, and like, his moves, like, 
Did you see those, um, like, when I, he would, like, try to up air me, and he would miss, and I would try to come down with a dare on him, and he would, like, defensively up air again? Like, he was able to up air, miss me, before I could fast fall dare him, he could up air again. Like, the cool down on a lot of times, A lot of times, you were making mistakes where you would, you would try to fast fall real quick to punish his whiff, yeah. and you would accidentally come down with, like, a fair... Yeah, yeah. Instead of getting your dare, there were there were there was a couple times, times where I did that. Yeah, yeah for sure. At like like above the top plat. Yeah, I mean I was catching him on him sometimes too because he was always like fading back. The character I feel like I, like I don't know I don't play him, but it seems to me like he has pretty good like aerial like fade too, kind of like yeah, how Fox he has does, good drift. where he can yeah drift. Um, seems like he's got a little bit of that too. I mean I I do. I mean only time will really tell. I mean I would like to see like like two high um, like higher level people playing like uh you know an og character versus uh goemon and, and see like i'm sure isaiah would probably have like a sick goemon or something like that. i'd like to see like a akira versus like akira pika versus like an isaiah goemon to like really be able to fairly assess or whatever but yeah some of it's the matchup inexperience character that just you're unfamiliar with like dude i i, I don't even know i don't even know what goemon's down smash looks like i i don't even know what the fuck that move is I was starting to get reads after a while on his like chains to the ledge, but I yes, think I'll tell you what, uh, Blue Go and I commentated this whole set, whole grand finals, and we were very happy. You know, the first two games you got fucked up. Yeah, adapt. And adapt. you adapted big time. Yeah. Even game five, you went down five three right in the beginning. Yeah. And then you and ended up back. winning. You ended up winning it by a two stock. Yeah. And then Moosh had some adaptations <laughs> of his own, and you guys just kind of went back and forth. Where like it was a good set. Yeah. Definitely good set. It was good stuff. Grand finals. It's good. I mean. I don't know. You, you hate on Kirby, I guess, or whatever. Everybody fucking does. I know he's a gay character or whatever, but there's definitely some fucking, like, <laughs> there's some of the remix characters have just as much janky as shit as fucking Kirby does, but at least people know what Kirby can do and know how to maneuver. There's no, like... Match of inexperience. <laughs> exactly. So, but no, it's good set. Mish is fucking r r ridiculously good at the fucking character. Yes, and he is. Does, he does really well with them. Uh, I do think he needs to be nerfed a little bit, not to take anything away from Moosh. Um, but once the nerf happens, because I, I feel like a lot of people are calling for the nerf thing. Frey, I, we, I, Frey we hope you're listening. <laughs> I, what do you think? I mean, I, do you think that it's he's a little overpowered, little, uh, like, some of his... Like, what are his weaknesses, really? Um, I think the grab box on the command grab could probably be lessened a little bit. Like, like his... Like, how... Whatever his radius, is, you know, uh, of his grab is on that shit. And his grab is strong as fuck, dude. He was killing me. He was throwing the me throw, towards the, the F throw. That F throw where I was, I was, I died at like, I died at 86% from an that. F throw. Like, I don't even know if Pikachu's back throw would kill me from there. Like, it was, it wasn't even like fully to the right of the stage. I was like, that fucking kills. And I, like, and it killed off the, I'm pretty sure it killed off the right side of the blast zone, not, not up high. Yeah. Right? Like, it would have been like, okay, maybe understandable if it's because he does have like kind of that arched, like Wario type fucking forward throw or whatever. But dude, I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a frustrating character to play against because, uh, yeah, it's tough to get fucking reads on him. And he's just got so many fucking things trying to dodge the projectiles and all that kind of shit. But, but uh, end of the fun, day, dude, mad fun. I had mad fun. It was just a to wrap up tournament. with everyone. Um, Moosh is your winner, taking his second in a row. Um, he didn't. Minio wouldn't go down quietly. Uh, two reverse three O's here at the end. Quite a quite a loser's run for Minio once again. We he ran through Peter, Raz, Microwave, Hot Dogs after losing to, to him earlier. Um, the reverse three O in set one. Exciting weekly here at the lab. And uh, we will be back next week, most likely, if not the week after. Stay tuned. Thank you, everybody, for watching with us. Um, hit me up on OnlyFans. Yeah, hit him up on OnlyFans. He's a good-looking guy. Yeah. Uh, he's an 8 or 9. I'm definitely <laughs> I'm definitely like an 8 or a 9, so I've been told. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, this is a wonderful game. We love everybody who's contributed, contributed, contributed in any way, whether it be the Remix team or just playing the game at home, playing, playing, running weeklies like we do here. If you're contributing in any way to this game, to our community, we love you and we appreciate you. Yeah, Everyone have a great night. Great Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving and Happy go fuck yourselves. That's right. <laughs> Adios.